Welcome back everybody. Today we're doing boundary water fishing in Minnesota. Best thing in the world to ever do. This is one thing you need to be aware of though. When you have your canoe come up, you gotta portage it from lake to lake to lake. Each one of these is about 50 pounds, 70 pounds is the heaviest. This has all of our, uh, all of our kitchen equipment. Yes, we brought too many poles. If you guys ever do this, only bring one rod, each person, maybe two. We have seven for three guys. This is all provided to us by uh, Sawbill Outfitters up here in Minnesota. And this is the smallest portage we have for today. I'll take you along the, the route. This is our canoe here. We're going from lake to lake to lake. We're about halfway through. And as soon as we get there, we'll load all of our stuff out and start fishing. But this water is super, it looks dirty, but it's actually the black bottom of the lake. It's super clear, super clean. We saw one northern swim off, so that's a good sign for us. Right, Dad? So we're gonna continue on our portaging adventures here. And I'll give you some shots of it too for our longest one. I think our longest one's about four, three quarters of a mile. So um, stay tuned, guys. We'll see you later. I turned it on to see this. Thanks for letting me cut that out. Turn on to see this. Go ahead, Mike. This is what it looks like, guys. We're in a fully loaded kayak. Bring it, uh, I guess my boots are gonna get wet, huh? That's all right. You can pull back. Very good. That's all right. It's hot anyways, right? That's good. That's good, that's good. Good to go. That is awesome. Awesome looking though, man. Order number three, guys. Take everything out, start hiking with it. This is the 
second one, this one. The other one, the last one's uh, three quarters of a mile, I think. Well, we dropped one. It's very awkward. His left one's way too loose. Let's set it down right there, Dad, so we can grab it. strap was way too loose. Oh. Right through there. I'm assuming through there or to the left. I'm assuming right through there. We'll see how shallow that is, huh? I'm hot at this point. I might as well just get my boots wet. Crazy. Not bad, right? <laughs> Forging the kayak, Phyllis. It's only 50 pounds. Pretty awkward though. Whoa. It's tight in there. This was not very long though. This was pretty short. Not too shabby right there, huh? So we'll set her down like this. And just lean her forward. Like that. And lift her up off your head. Down. There she is. Oh, oh, that looks juicy. Someone's camping right there. Now back for the bags. Bags, rods, water. Looks like a juicy spot right there, huh? That's the juice. If there was trout that'd be in there, but this one doesn't feed the trout. I'm back, give me a bag. You're back? Just a small one. Okay, I wanna try it, can I? I wanna try. try. Here, Mike, okay. you can take the water and the oars. Cool, I hate the oars, but okay. But. Yeah, dude. That looks annoying, but hey. <laughs> on that next uh, lakeside, we got someone camping on it, right? And then I can, what's yeah. that? 
Oh, there's someone camping? Yep. Beautiful. I was carrying that from you. Not easy. Do that all day. Yeah, me too. Well, folks, we made it. Huh? One hour longer than anticipated. If you can see that orange dot way over there, that's where we wanted to be. There's only three campsites on this one, and we got the last one. So everything's getting offloaded. We're gonna set up camp, set up our tent, yeah. eat some food, regenerate some energy, and then hopefully we can find some fish in here. Um, so we'd like to have fish today instead of freeze dry food. Fish is the goal, guys. So we'll be back later when we start going fishing. We won't have all the gear in there, I and mean, hopefully we start hooking up some uh, some walleyes, the best, and then northern smallmouth. So we'll see what happens, guys. See you then. This is interesting, guys. This is our toilet for the next few days. They see a hole in the ground with a toilet seat in the middle of the woods. Isn't that interesting? Out here trying to cut some firewood. This doesn't do a lot, so we're basically just doing twigs and stuff like that. Bringing it back to the camp. We are pretty exhausted right now. From, we did 10 miles a day of kayaking and about, only about three miles of hiking stuff through, but that's hiking stuff through that's 75 pounds, you know? So it, it gets tiresome, including the, the canoe. So I don't know if I said kayaking really, but we're canoeing. Um, yeah, so once we gather up some firewood, get everything set so that when we come back we don't have to worry about setting up camp really it's already set up for us so be rewarded that way but uh see you guys soon. Good morning ladies and gentlemen day two minnesota boundary water fishing um i don't have a lot of videos of fishing yet just because during the day yesterday we didn't catch anything um it wasn't until out of a whim i decided oh, i'll just throw my lure one more time in the water and that was about 8 30 at night it still had some sunlight and we just started hitting the walleye like crazy but unfortunately the gopro couldn't catch all the light and it looked really really bad so i didn't want to be posting that um, we're going to be going out to a new lake today we're putting all our camping stuff back together back in the canoe and out of those bags kind of go in there we're going to go to another camping site tonight for the last few days and uh, hopefully catch some trout and northerns actually trout and northerns um this is where we are nice campfire those are all the rods we have side note you only need like two rods maybe per person i brought three maybe one then just put a swivel on it and get away with it um because you have to carry that back and forth all the time and that gets annoying but this view does not get annoying oh yeah okay beautiful absolutely beautiful so you guys are gonna get going and we'll see you at the next campus site.